Here we have Crazy Chicky for the Dick Smith Wizard. It's a cartridge game and it's, as you'll see, a Pac-Man clone with a twist. So instead of gobbling up the dots we're laying eggs I would say. So fill the game board with eggs is the objective. Avoid the foxes. Eat the carrots for the power-ups to get the to eat the foxes. Oh. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. But had a lot of fun with this game back in the early 80s. It still baffles me as to why I uh, traded this computer effectively for a... Well, I didn't trade it. I sold my ZX Spectrum, which I really enjoyed, and for some reason bought this Dick Smith Wizard. Dick Smith Wizard. I don't know quite why. Uh, I guess for the convenience of the cartridges. I was more into sort of gaming at that stage. I still can't to this day work out why, considering the diabolical keyboard on the Wizard. I mean, the Spectrum wasn't that great, but the Wizard keyboard is a lot worse. Um, yeah, well, I had a lot of fun with the machine though, so I guess, you know, uh, I guess in hindsight it's easy to sort of pick holes in this uh, computer compared to the Spectrum, but I got a lot of enjoyment out of it, so I guess that's all that matters. Right, just got one lot of dots to get. Am I going to get there in time? I don't think so. Oh, didn't make level one. That's a bit sad. Right, let's have another go. The joystick's not bad. If you haven't seen the video on the Dick Smith Wizard that I've done, uh, you could go go back and have a look. It's uh, it shows you the you know the basics of the computer and the the keyboard and joysticks and whatnot. The yeah joysticks are actually not too bad for this game. It's um, it really depends the way you hold it. it uh, I find the Planet Defender game, which I'll show in another video is uh, a little bit more awkward uh, but this seems quite good see if I can at least get through to level 2 just have to time the turning of the corners you've got to make sure you're right on right past the corner you can't sort of uh, turn slightly before the corner it'll trap you there so you do have to be quite accurate on your turns and that's quite difficult when you're uh, you've got these foxes right up your date speaking of which this little chicken must have been quite busy. She's uh, pumping out some eggs here. Not going for points, just going to clear the level. <laughs> Alright, here's uh, game board two. Slightly different layout.
quite a fun game. I, I'm sure that, um, I mean, everyone would know uh, Pac-Man, I'm sure. Uh, if not, it, you know, maybe you're too young to know. <laughs> but I'm sure my uh, seven-year-old niece would enjoy this one. Although it might be a bit intense. Uh, I mean, it is quite an intense game. Lucky. Oh, risky. I imagine for a young kid it would be so intense it could be a little bit frightening. <laughs> we sort of uh, are immune to it, I think, in our old age. My old age, anyway. It's interesting that the younger kids sort of take the the death as a dire consequence. Sometimes it's almost like it's happening to them, <laughs> uh, whereas you know, after a, uh, playing video games for quite a while you um, understand that it's just a, a whole bunch of zeros and ones and it doesn't really matter, but the need to beat the game can get the adrenaline going. Yes, level two. Oh, actually doing pretty well. It was, um, probably my best game I've had recently. I just started playing it really just to um, get the levels right for the recordings of these videos. Yeah, but we're back to an identical uh, board here. Uh, identical to the first board, so I'm not sure if the difficulty actually changes as you progress. Maybe the foxes are a little bit faster? Not sure. Is he going to come out? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Do I really want to use all these carrots early in the game? Might be forced to. Foxes are slightly faster. But I think the the fo it looks like the foxes pause on the corners just ever so slightly, and it gives you a little bit of a chance to get away from them because uh, the, your little chicken is pretty quick around the corners. So that I wonder if that might be the key really is just to keep turning as often as possible. <gasps> oh. I can't believe I got away with that. <laughs> well, I'm just going for the dots now. I'm not going to bother going for the foxes. Get that one, come on. Yep, got it. Okay. Interestingly, the high score is saved. Must be saved on the. Must be saved in the computer somewhere because I played this yesterday and I've had the machine off since then, so must be storing the um, high score somewhere. Not not on the cartridge. Must be a. A little bit of memory somewhere that it's dedicated to high scores. Oh, stuck on the corner. Tried to turn too soon. That's the problem there. You also got to be careful when you start off. It doesn't fill the. Oh, 
doesn't fill in that dot there. You have to go over it, go past it and then back over it again. I don't think the foxes are staying vulnerable for as long in this level. Maybe that's where the increased difficulty comes in. And they can't follow you through the tunnels that traverse uh, between the screen, you know, from right to left or left to right, um, which, you know, is the same as Pac Man. So that is a good strategy, if you can get away with it. <laughs> oh, no. I was trying to get... Uh oh oh. There we go. So I got to level 3, 18,970 high score. Not a bad little game. Not a bad little Pac-Man clone. Keep an eye out for more games I'm going to do videos on. Got Planet Defender. Um, Tank Attack, which I might need to rope the other half into. 